Welcome back, everybody, to La Mulana. And I feel like it's... I feel like I... Oh, God, oh goodness. Oh, I feel oh, like... Oh. I feel like I'm pretty much obligated at this point to at least have one thing as a tribute to the man. Again, thank you, Deceased Crab. Huzzah! Yay! <laughs> now, uh, how do I get across? We need to wait for the elevator to come back up. There we ah. go. Asking you shall receive. Well, so, you know what um, they say. Like Patience it? has its virtues. I get the feeling that if not one of the commenters, then eventually one of us, more than likely going to be Matt, is going to just to see the reaction you have to it. When we're all done with this, someone will Don't show this me. entire playthrough to this sea crap himself. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I just Maybe. saw you walk through air. It happens. To, uh, that we'll have to keep in mind for later because uh, we sh it should be known water in this place actually is poisonous at first. We can't just swim in it without losing health. Why do we? So, why can we not swim or something? We can swim. Just the water here is poisonous. Oh, so and we need to get an object. That is their, that's their way of getting around the fact that they don't have an air meter, so you just start losing health at a steady pace when you're in water until uh, afterwards. So, yeah. Aha! Oh! That, that was, we, we unlocked that earlier with that switch. And that will unlock the Ankh, because as previously mentioned, uh, having an Ankh jewel isn't quite enough, actually. You think this is the boss key, but we need to actually access the boss door, which oh. is the Ankh. So... Yeah, you're supposed to know about this, I guess, or just experiment. I don't know. <laughs> so, Look at me, everybody. I'm walking on airs. So putting the, pushing this really switch will allow me... To... I know. Welcome to Lama Lana. So pushing that switch will unlock the Ankh. Otherwise, the Ankh wouldn't appear. So now that the boss door, quote-unquote, thing has appeared... Oh. We can Ooh. begin. Now I can turn back into a real boy. No, it means we can now <laughs> trigger one man. of the... It means we can trigger one of the eight bosses with our Ankh Jewel here. Hiya! I said hiya! I said hiya! Oh, hiya! There, there. We go. Well, that was needless. Meet off his bond, everybody. Hello! Uh, oh, God! Wait, what now? Oh, hello! I think what it's Amphis Baina. Amphis Baina, Amphis Bana. Uh, one thing that's cool about this series is that all of the ruins and stuff take. Uh, they take. Um, Inspiration from real life things. So I think Ampas Bana is a real creature of, myth of like mythos or Ow! something. Ow! Oh, you're on fire, oh. dude. Well, he was. I'll be fire. fine. Wouldn't that have been, guys wouldn't have been so sad if there was a fire? If there was a fire status in this game? Oh, that would suck. Yeah, no, nothing that bad. Just find your and uh. Ah! Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, oh gosh. And I guess and, yeah, and don't worry. This is this boss is about as easy so, as it's gonna oh, get. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's a relief. Ha. We have defeated hey, Obliterated. We've obliterated Amphisbane. Yeah, it did look like a light matter kind of dark matter thing. It seriously yeah. was. So, our first boss is destroyed, and that is one of... Wait, come back. Come back? ASAP! Come back oh gosh! Back. Bad now, happened. Something oh, no. bad has happened. Uh-oh. Elder Zelput. Oh no! I'm, I'm, I'm on my on way, Mr. Mr. What's-his-name? Zelput. Away! Hang on. Nothing. Okay. Sorry. Are you alright, Zelput? Away. I actually called you back for no good reason. I'm just bored. Oh, Are you kidding me? You got don't my get hopes up for nothing, old man. Oh, don't get all mad and rush off. Have some of my homemade bat curry. Bat curry? Oh. Ew. Sounds appetizing. So, yeah, being an archaeologist, sure, see if you can solve all the puzzles without dying, you might actually meet the legendary four philosophers. Ooh, that sounds cool because it's in blue curry. Mm. Yeah, okay, let's. I don't want to have curry. I don't like curry. Too spicy. So, four. What's their. The four what's Philosophers. Their names? Philosophers. Is that like supposed to be some sort of special? Oh. <laughs> I just, Sorry. I just left the t left your tent, and <laughs> don't need to apologize that quickly. Yeah, sorry. What were you saying about the four philosophers? Is that supposed? <laughs> so apparently, from what the email said, there's there's something you can uh, encounter if you manage to solve all these puzzles without dying. Uh, yeah, because if you think about it, since at there are there's not a multiple life system. If you die, you die. You're just loading a previous save to go back in time to when you weren't dead. Makes sense. So though I assume the game makes note of that, and by that point you're screwed out of finding the four falafers. Four falafers. No, no, no. The four falafers. The four falafers. So let me say no. So let me say nah. The game actually does not. The game does not keep track of how many times you've died, and it doesn't oh. care. I, I realize I didn't have enough weights. I just bought some more. Um, uh oh. Ow. Ah! Die. So yeah, the game does not keep track of how many times you die. The philosophers are plot relevant. We need to find oh, them. Oh, okay. So, 
Honestly, from the way it made it sound, it seemed like it was a condition he had to meet just for some sort of special unlockable. There is only one place that is like that, and that is called Hell Temple. I'm just going to say right now, I am not going for Hell Temple. That is the heart of heart. It's Hell. So, yeah. Well, the King Ghost. Oh, oh hello. Um, hi there. Die. Yeah. Yeah, ow. yeah, this guy certainly gives, gives Blue Bosses a run for his money. There are nice. uh, mid boss. Some of them are mid. Yeah, there are some mid bosses in this game. Die, die. Oh, oh gosh. Hey, it's spicing, spice things up. They get dead from the yeah. usual. Um, oh, hello. This is the rolling shuriken, which Ooh. it's very situational, but this allows me to throw thing. It, it lets me throw a little shuriken on the ground that wheels away like a little Beyblade. Remember, kids, whenever you're wheeling sharpy thing, sharp things, always make sure to have parental supervision. No, dude, you have no idea. I actually have a childhood friend who, like, he ha he his fr his parents got him like they they were official. They were metal bay blades that had like little edges to them. Really? Oh boy! Put that edge down. I was like, like dude, how sharp they were they? It was like you could like poke yourself, not not like draw blood, but you could poke yourself with them. Ugh. Oh man! Uh oh, huh? Oh. Okay. Sounds. Pleasant. Sometimes little floors like that will happen, so keep an eye out. Um. Oh yeah. As I was mentioning early, I was mentioning a little while ago. Um. Oh jeez. Um, I, 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 oh, that's why I was oh, being careful. okay. Ah, oh, well, down I go. Uh, out. Hello, Mr. Hand, how are you doing? Oh! It looks, it looks like a gauntlet. Where are you, yeah, sir? Yeah, it looks like that it. That was certainly a fine how did you? All right, let's activate the save. Let's Little activate the save rail so we can come back here. Mausoleum of the Giants. Um, uh, what was of I saying? Of course, I don't want uh, him to really stick around and give him a high five. No, I don't think he knows how to do that. Uh, I was mentioning earlier that this game came out in <laughs> That's opening. He's like, it's me. Yeah. He, he's adorable. He will send like emotic. He'll send like emotes. Uh, spoilers. I do believe that in uh, La Mulana 2, he starts using a text message system instead. Oh. With, oh okay. Complete with emotes and raffle and LOL. And is he about as bad as uh, say Alpha? I need this. Uh, Alpha's from. Um... Not as bad, because at least they don't interrupt your gameplay. Well, that's good. Oh, the countless stars. Okay, so we just bought the Pegasus boots. Now we can move faster in general, and we can now climb up those things in the Temple of the Sun without looking like a dingus. Oh, nice. All right, we'll come back in later. Uh, okay, is so as I said... Is this something this... you can activate on a whim, or is it like something... Is, is permanent it like, upgrade. Is it auto? Permanent upgrade. Auto uh, uh, upgrade. Okay, a uh, permanent upgrade. So you just move faster no matter what. Mm-hmm. Okay, that, the, um, I'm not going to mince words for a game game like this. I feel like that might be more of a detriment than a benefit. At times, but when you're using keyboard controls, it's pretty precise, so you don't have to worry too much. That's cool. You gotta stick with, um, stick with your limitations, even though there's clearly like six bajillion thing, buttons on your keyboards. Yeah, there's only you really you're only really using like two or three keys at any given time. Um, let's see what I can do around here. What's this one say? Well, it was, was great. Giants. Even the giants look tiny. The giants were great. Thou art tiny like a little doll. Huh. Well, the giants, of course, I would be. Uh huh. Okay. If they were the if they were the dolls, then what are we? <sighs> we the are the action ants. figures. <sighs> Not the action figures. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's get the map. I don't know. Yeah, I think it'd be a cool action figure. You know, figure. someday I would like to sign up for my own action figure. The kids would love it. It would be cool. Oh. Uh, there's actually a tablet in this in that room that we just left. There's a tablet that if you read it, I think I maybe go back to it later. It will say like, uh, if you are foolish enough to read this tablet again, you will be cursed. And literally, if oh. you read that tablet a second time, you will activate hard mode. Uh -oh. oh. For the uh -oh. entire game. Oh well, is it something you can? Uh, uh, is it something you you can reset? Assuming well. If you get to a certain area, yes, you can talk to someone and they will turn it off. But or otherwise, say if you, or say if, or say if you didn't save at the time. <laughs> um, yeah, you'd have to go to a you'd have to go to a different character and they could turn it off. Uh, okay. And you do meet them fairly soon after this, after you get a little taste. So basic. It. So basically, if you turn on hard mode, not you, you're practically just stuck there until you find this guy. You're not even like turning the game off and then restarting it will fix that. Nope, because it'll be your save file. Like, right. like, does it auto save by that point? No, but I'm saying that, like, even that, like... Oh, 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 oh yeah. I was no, asking, oh, like, sorry. could you restart sorry. your save file? Yes, so... you could restart your save file. Okay. Sorry. There we go. Unlock that. Yes, that, and that switch appeared because I set that little dial at the bottom to stars. So the whole purpose of this game is you're meant to read these tablets, and they'll tell you, like, this happened on a star night, this happened on a sunlight. You're supposed to read these tablets, and they'll tell you how to solve puzzles. So I would never say a puzzle is super obtuse, but you got to use some really 
Like, this guy slept on a star night, so I made a star, so he slept. Uh. It, you have to use some lateral thinking, that's the tricky part. Especially when you're under duress of being Midgeless shot at. And... Left -handed. Yeah, so we'll find we'll find a giant who's holding a spear in his left hand, and we know that's Miguel up. Run! Aha! That would have been a trap. Oh boy! Oof. Are we which granted, water? which granted, I can fast travel at any point in time, so traps aren't that that bad. They just kind of get in your way a bit. Also, the insta killing kind, which there are a couple. Uh, in a game like this, the last thing you want to encounter is a one-hit kill scenario. If you haven't saved in a while, oh no. <laughs> yeah, especially. Is that where the first one was holding up the land and thus unable to move? Uh, what does this guy say? Strength and, lies at the foot of Futo. And, hmm. and Cronus is in the background. It's like, eh, I guess, I, could, I guess my situation isn't as bad anymore. Yep, got full heal. And the strength lies at the end of Futo. Magello was left-handed. See how he's holding the spear in his left hand there? Uh -huh. On the left. So Futo is the one on the right. So therefore, weight yeah. on his foot. Ta da! Uh, okay. You have to use a weight right in front of Futo's foot. So puzzles like that. It's, yeah, that's a, that's a, that does seem a little obtuse. That's and yeah, the, and the game is designed like that. This is definitely, I think, a more casual kind of game. Like I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. Uh, so I'm going to more or less breeze through it because I know what I'm doing when to do it. But if you're playing this casually, I think it is a much more relaxed night. Just go around, take your time, you know. Definitely stop and smell the flowers because the flower because someone may quiz you later on what the flowers smelled like. <laughs> One of those kind of games. Well, go back, you dumbass. No. Oh, I guess I can't stop you. I'm not doing that boss right I'm now. I'm warning you. Ah! See? I could have warned you about that fist if you didn't pay attention to me. Fine. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, uh, yeah. As I was saying previously, this game came out back in 2005 for Flash, and then around 2012 it was remastered for everything. Uh, at the time, it is when if you want to play this game now, it came out in 2000 and uh, it came out in 2012. On I, Steam. I no, I, I, I maybe. Let me see. This game is on Steam, obviously. Yeah, it, so it came out. So it came out. Yeah, it came out on Steam around 2015, 2012. It was released as like a DRM for like a, an actual web download on uh, Windows. Okay, and uh, I, think you, I think you've already said that this game also was on WiiWare back when yep, that was, was still a thing. Rest in peace. Yep, this was a WiiWare title, and I would like to claim it was one of the hardest WiiWare titles. Yeah, I'll bet. And uh, well, oh yeah, by the way, welcome to the Endless Corridor. Uh, this place sucks. And uh, pay attention. Notice how the bats here only have one eye. Uh huh. Yeah. That later. The Queen Fairy. Hello. The four four flosses instruct us to help us to humans. Okay. My fellow fairies will help you, but first you must prove that you're worthy of our powers. Find Isis's pendant and bring it to me. Only then shall we be able to help you. Oh yes, please, because that they are actually very helpful. No, I don't need to help you. Good luck okay. on your search for the pendant. You'll need. So we're going to find the Isis pendant so that we <laughs> is the Isis can pendant solve. in that treasure chest over there. No, no, it's actually in the Temple of the Sun. We'll have to go back there. Oh, uh, okay. That would have been also, kind of, that would have been kind of a hilarious little dick punch. Oh. You'd have to open up. You'd have to unlock that treasure chest from another ah. place, then backtrack, and then oh look, there it is. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? It was all. It was really. You're serious? It was there this whole time. The thing you were looking for was literally right next door. Fairy, you! What it's the me. fuck? It's still Zelpwood, like, you know what I'm saying? There's fairies here! Oh my Dang. god. Fairy god parents! <laughs> fairy god parents! And thus it was revealed. So yeah, that was actually the map. We got it by just walking through one loop and then just... Seriously, though, what the fuck was with that sudden lingo? He's crazy. He's he's weird. He's Elder Zelpwood. Alright, I'm not make gonna you, do that Make me wonder what the heck the other villagers think of him. I don't think they like to. I I think they just don't like thinking of him. <laughs> it's like eh, he's, he's weird. He's old. Uh -oh. He's crazy. All right. Oh, I'm just gonna uh, teleport okay, there. Okay. So okay. So apparently, just touching just touching the wall there was enough to activate the chest. Actually, what it was, and if you want to go back, you'll see. Uh, let's push this to free ourselves. Uh, there was a the floor was raised, so I stood on it and it got pushed back down. Oh, okay. So sometimes I think there'll be another couple we'll see, but uh, let's save. 
Again, I'm gonna try my best to explain things as we go. Hi, how are you doing today? <laughs> ah! Truthfully, Ouch. I think I... Yeah. Truthfully, I think I might be starting to feel a little down. Oh, why? I don't know, it's just... It could be a combination of, again, the fall allergies as we talked about, a combination of, I think I might have un unintentionally Ow. undercooked my dinner, and that's starting to give me a bit of something. Just uh, overall, not, I could be better. Aww. There we go. I told you, you should you should have cooked it to 3,000 degrees! No, oh, that's too high. It's so weird when it comes to... It's really weird when it comes to... I guess just to give people context, I was cooking myself oh, on my see there right there, James. It's the weird because raised. there's some... Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And we get a dagger. Oh! Oh, so okay. Get it. Yeah, back to you, Hype. Files of... It's, it's really weird when it comes to some pizzas, where it's like, if you cook it for too long, like the... It's like... It's a situations where it's like sometimes the middle won't be fully <laughs> cooked, but if you cook it any longer, the crust will basically just become charcoal. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And other and if you try and reheat it with the microwave, it gets all chewy and soggy. And yeah, Wait. And pizza pizza's a weird mistress. Ooh, I'll was buy this like, these text tracks, Harold. Was this like store bought pizza or was this like actual pizza made from scratch? Store bought. Ah, okay. What brand? Text. Oh. Um, DiGiorno, which ah. is weird because I can usually cook them really good. I guess just in this instance, I unintentionally cooked it a little less than I usually Mulbrook. do. Mulbrook. Hello, Mulbrook. This is, M no, this is Mulbrook. She is, uh, one of, she is a, uh, daughter, I don't think she's a daughter of one of the philosophers, but she is one of a, she's one of the ancient ones who's immortal, and she's actually really sweet, but I, the issue is that she's kind of frozen in time unless I can break the seal beneath her uh, room, which I don't have anything to break seals with. How, how, how sad to see her stuck in limbo, just like Tails was once upon a time. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Switch. wonder how much of a nightmare that's going to be. <laughs> yeah. That must make them suck out. Ow. Can't see the platforms here. We have to cast a light and the truth shall be revealed. So I need to go back into this little kind of thing. Uh, also, we must uh, that, unthaw her. Also, that software I found earlier, I bought from that Pharaoh guy, Text Tracks. That allows me to, uh, that allows me to record things I find. So that was your, that was your like, if you're too tired and don't want to record things from tablets where people say on paper, you can just have the game do it for you. Oh well, that's a, that's out. a relief. There it is. Yeah, because yeah, th I said this before, way back when we did Neverhood, and I'll say it again. That is like my biggest pet peeve with certain with with certain types, like the type of genre where of game where they literally expect you to write the notes down like on a piece of paper and then come back to it. It's like I hate yeah. that shit. The game, sh everything should be the self game should be in the, the game. The game should document that for for, for future reference. Ow. Don't make me do that shit. Uh, ho. Okay, let's go get let's go use those platforms now that I've revealed them. Oh look, and this little cart thing he fell down finally. Ooh. I guess I well, solved another puzzle. Right. No, Aww, besides, we, we, we actually have to push it down, but we will use that card eventually. Ah! Die. I oh. knew I should have taken those lessons from that <laughs> ah. well, I wish he did jump better, though. More on that later. But, yeah, I'm sorry to hear about the dinner hype. Awesome. What is mid that thing? I don't know. Uh, most of these mid bosses actually do have names, and if I... Oh, goodness I gracious, later, that thing has legs for days! And when he spins around, Horses he looks legs, like... that is. When he yeah. spins around, he looks like freaking, uh, actually, Sinistar. Actually, it kind of looks like an amalgamation of a lion's head, and a, a spider's anatomy, and several horse legs. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's weird looking. Die. Yeah, mythology always was was the most crack of fan fiction. Yeah, and this and again, this game does break a, bring a lot of... Uh, mythology, like again earlier, we were in like some like Babylonian temple. Now we're suddenly in total Egypt land. We'll go yeah. to like. It's kind of cool. I, I like it though. And Lama, again, the Lama Lana does not dis discriminate from from any sort of region. There we go. In fact, it, it, it invites them all for one really weird smorgasbord. In Lama Lana two, they start referencing a lot of Norse mythology, mm. like like uh e like e Yggdrasil, the Tree of Life. Um, Thor and all that stuff. Fenric yeah. the Ice Wolf. Yeah, get, probably. Do we get to wield that, Mal 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 Mjolnir? That'd be awesome. Mjolnir. Mjolnir. It'd be awesome. There'd also be, I think there's Nidhogg the Dragon. And, aha! This is the Isis Chamber. And what Ooh. would we find in the Isis Chamber? A Yay. pendant. Isis's pendant. Oh, just what I needed. 
Oh, queen! Oh, the Mises is gonna love this. She better. Freaking have to kill a weird demon thingy. You like it, Jordy? This is indeed Isis's pendant. My fellow fairies will help you now, as promised. <laughs> you certainly Thanks. sound excited. <laughs> we shall make it so tiny lights are visible in specified areas of the ruins. Come into contact with those lights and I miss that. Oh, jeez. Sorry. As so, I am the queen, now... I'll remain here and blah, blah, blah. But if you're faced with a task that is beyond even her even her fairy's power, we should come back to see her. So I will record that for later. Okay. So I will say real quick before we end this part mm -hmm. that yeah. So what has basically happened is that now throughout the ruins there are these little sparkly lights, and if I touch them, I will summon one of four fairies: a health fairy, a item fairy, which will help me, which basically increases the drop rate of items and and money. That's part of that big exploit to get a lot of money quick. Of course. Uh, the weapon fairy, which will automatically throw an infinite supply of whatever weapon you have equipped, so I could have a fairy just throw shurikens all over the place. And the key fairy, which is required for o opening certain puzzles. Like, you need to get a key fairy for some of these puzzles. And is this something like, is are these fairies something like you can activate whenever you want, or is there any sort of stipulation to acti uh, activating them? You need to run and touch a, a yellow, you need to touch a glowing circle and one will automatically be summoned to you and it is a random chance which one you're going to get. Oh you god, can, random chance. You can influence it a little bit and I'll show that later and fortunately as we will see much later, the game does give you an, a, a way to force which fairy you will get no matter what. Okay, good. Because honestly, if some of the, if those key fairies are mandatory for certain things then doing it by random chance sounds fucking stupid. Oh, with a five percent chance, you have no, you have no idea. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Uh, X can relate. Till next time, guys. Farewell. Magic.